Hi, my name is Gerald Turner and I'm a music instructor for the Bass Academy of Music. And I want to share with you a few things about what Black History Month means to me. Uh, when I think about the impact of musicians in Kansas City, I think it's important to think about how many musicians got their start here and how many are still in Kansas City. Um, as an educator, we see so many people out doing the arts, but it means something different for a black boy to see a black man performing. And that's called the windshield effect. And when we see that, we know that it's possible for us. And a lot of times we might see black men doing different things, but when you see a black flute player, um, that speaks differently. When black girls see you know, a female, a black female pianist, that says something different. It says, I can do the same thing. And as an educator, we have to remember that um, while there's so many role models out there, there's some that we, have to pay attention to so that we know it's possible for ourselves. And um, for Black History Month, that's really a big part of what I believe as a teacher, um, just in the exposure part. Um, and even Rihanna just performed. She didn't get paid for that Super Bowl performance. She did it for the exposure. And so we think about Alvin Ailey, who didn't see a Black dancer until he was 13, and that changed his life. So with the mindset of changing the life of a Black boy or girl, I can be that role model for them, hopefully. And that's what you know, I like to think about when it comes to Black history in Kansas City.